Here's another case. On the bottom, we could see normal skin. We could see a stratum corneum of the epidermis. We could see a nice epidermal layer. We could see epidermal pegs. We could see the papillary dermis. And we could see a fairly nice uniform uh, reticular dermis and subcutaneous fat. Here on top is the case in question. Sure, we could see a little bit of a stratum corneum. We could see an epidermis. We could see uh, epidermal pegs and papillary dermis. But the reticular dermis is very thick and infiltrated with these uh, bluer areas. Uh, and there is a little bit of subcutaneous fat uh, here as well. Let's see what's going on. Well, uh, in all honesty, the epidermis itself does not look too bad. It has a nice wavy appearance. There's a little bit of a stratum corneum. But starting in the papillary dermis and extensively throughout the reticular dermis are these infiltrates of, of blue cells, which you could see on close up are all lymphocytes. This is extensive multifocal lymphocytic infiltration throughout dermis, causing thickening of the dermis as well. Some of it uh, may appear to be perivascular or around the uh, skin appendages, but it is quite extensively distributed throughout the entire skin. Uh, this could be caused by a whole wide variety of things, one of which would be a tick bite, and therefore that is why this slide is labeled lymphocytic infiltrate possible tick bite. Thank you very much.